Hey guys, got another project I've been working on. I've been really going to town lately. Um, since I've recently migrated my smart things, uh, all of my Z-Wave devices and Zigbee devices over to a, a new platform called Hubitat. And I use the ST Anything libraries um, that are available for ESP8266 to add devices that I build to Hubitat now to um, relays, switches, buttons, etc. It's it's a lot of fun. And this is a new one that I'm I just made with a, a nice little breakout board that I came across. A micro USB breakout board. You can see here um, it's got the five the five ends right here and I just need the VCC and ground for the projects obviously you got five volts coming in on it and then as usual five volts feeding the LM 117 the regulator dropping that down to 3.3 and then that powering uh, the ESP01 and on this guy here I have just a momentary button uh, and for this particular project what I'm doing is I just want a quick button to press at night to turn all my smart things lights off when I go to bed or if I wake up in the middle of the night I want to be able to press it once and not look at my phone to try and open an app the app is great and all but if you're half asleep it comes it's a little bit cumbersome to you, you, you understand so anyway that can just click this button boom lights come on I can go to the bathroom or see what's going on out in the living room if I wake up in the middle of the night but yeah this little breakout board here is pretty handy um, you can see it's got mounting holes as well and you can just use your typical commercial micro USB cables that you probably have laying around your house and it really cuts down again on the loose any loose wires and this will package up nicely in another uh, project box and again using the four pins uh, four pin solder process on this guy here for the, just the GPIO zero. I don't need any of the other pins once it's programmed. Um, again, keeps it kind of breadboard friendly. Um, you can see it's it's nice and flat down there instead of on one of the adapters um, where it pops it up another inch or so uh, at the minimum. So yeah, this is the next level. And these press these momentary buttons. They have the nice mounting screw for the top, so this will mount to the box and be flush. And it'll, it'll look really nice. I made one for my wife, too, for her Z-Wave bulbs and the hallway light. So when she goes to bed, she hits the button, everything turns off, and it won't keep her awake um, at night. Or if the cats happen to set one of the motion lights off, she can just turn it off. So there's my latest and greatest. Just want to share with you guys. Uh, again, I use ST Anything libraries. They're up on GitHub. Um, and Hubitat, that's the new platform I'm moving to. And there's a bunch of great people on that, uh, on the Hubitat platform now, supporting each other as it grows. And again, it all runs locally, so if you lose access to the internet, all of your devices do keep running. Um, it's very slick. All kinds of rules you can create and pre-built rules, and it's the support from device manufacturers even is, is growing quickly. So if you have a device, there's you'll get it on there one way or the other. Everyone helps helps each other if it's not uh, apparent to get it going straight out the gate. So anyway, hope everyone had a great weekend and hope this helps somebody someplace. Bye now.